Hey everyone, welcome back and in today's video I wanted to chat with you guys about something I've been seeing around the interwebs and even on Netflix I was just watching this documentary titled Social Dilemma and it was kind of a big part of it where they're saying the argument is, is that the algorithm, especially on YouTube, is what's making people lean into this crazy conspiracy mindset of the flat earth, of fake news, of global warming, of 9-11 conspiracies. And I feel like there's a lot to say, but I'm just going to try my best to articulate this because it's so convoluted and so complex and it's so there's so many lies already involved in just the statement that the algorithm is what brought about the idea of the earth being flat. Now this might be news for some people but as early ago as the 1970s, there was newspapers going around about the Flat Earth and it was, you know, before the time of the internet when people were still discussing this idea. I have a bunch of these articles here. If you want to take a look, I will post them below, but this goes on for, you know, years. This isn't, this isn't new news, and it's not something that was just brought about by YouTube. Um, that newspaper, in fact, that I just showed you, it had a lot of people who would write in to the newspaper, just people all over the world, just like people who would comment here on YouTube. So people were paying for this magazine. This isn't something new. It's not something that just like came from YouTube. It's not a new idea. Obviously, all the ancient civilizations that we weren't taught about, they all mostly had the conception that the Earth was a flat plane where the heavens or the stars above would revolve around the Earth, not the opposite that we're told now, which all the planets revolve around the sun. It's, it's just not a new idea, so the basis of argument is already destroyed and just to say that there's this algorithm that pushes pushes the most extreme content is is also removing this human element there's a huge human element here that I feel like is so heavily ignored just the humanness and somebody realizing something and having to create this video, edit it, and then upload it online, it really has nothing to do with the algorithm. There was a flood of content being made because so many people came to this idea at the same time in 2015. There's an explosion, you could blame it on Math Powerland. He was kind of the one to first bring it to YouTube and then Eric Jabay kind of expanded and made it into what it is today. I feel like he has a huge part in this, but so do we all. It's if there's a human element to this that they don't want to talk about. They don't want to say that real people are making these videos like me, real people like you who watch it, who comment on the video, who you know, these algorithms are created from the people clicking, from the people searching for this information. This information isn't just plastered into people's minds. People have to agree with it. People have to decide for themselves. No one, no one convinced me of this. I don't listen to shit that people tell me to do. I have to figure it out for myself. I've always been like that. And I know everyone else sort of like that too. Maybe not as extreme as I am, but a lot of people need proof. They're not just going to blindly follow a YouTube recommendation video just because they saw it. They're going to do more research and that goes away from YouTube. It's not just all on YouTube. There's so much information. So you could go check the internetarchive.com and see so much information, so many maps of the world that look 
very different from the maps that we're told our Earth looks like. And it's just, it's really interesting that the algorithm and YouTube recommendations is is being to blame here for for people coming to the truth. It's It has nothing to do with the algorithm. It has to do with human beings realizing we've been lied to. So don't let them make you confused. Don't let them make you get it twisted because that's really what they're trying to do to make even those people who know the truth, who could see past all of this bullshit, they're trying to, in a way, make you question the way you came to this, to question your intuition, to question your bullshit meter. You know, people aren't stupid. Think about how many times you know when your best friend or your loved one is lying to you, or you could just tell when something isn't honest. You could tell where there's something fishy going on could tell when it's a bullshit. You could tell when it's a lie. You could smell it from a million miles away. And unfortunately, the internet has helped people smell out the bullshit that we've been taught. It's it's just bound to happen. It's it's beautiful, I think. It's cool. It could be an algorithm is helping us, but it's real people who are making the content to begin with real people who may have found out about truth by a recommendation, but it can't be that simple to say that the algorithm is to blame for millions, if not more, people coming to the conclusion that the earth is flat and so many other conspiracies that they're trying to blame YouTube on and try to ultimately just censor the truth. That's, that's the goal. It's pretty sad. It's really sad that it's come down to this and we have to just stand up and use your voices. Don't let them tell you that you're crazy. I also feel like Trump has a huge play in this. I just don't know how it's going to come out yet. I feel like he's definitely a puppet in some way. The way he's using fake news so often in his tweets and just his general demeanor. He's so against the media and fake news. He's calling it the the enemy of the people is the fake news media. And I feel like this is really convoluting everything as well to deal with the truth because he's someone who is like a clown figure, clown image in the public eye. He has a really bad reputation. And then when someone like that is saying, oh, the media's fake, don't listen to them. It kind of makes people feel like maybe they should listen to the media because this fucking crazy guy, president, is saying the media's fake. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. It's all twisted. Sorry if I didn't explain it too well. But yeah, it just, it gets me kind of worked up to hear people blaming this on the algorithm and saying it's a fault of YouTube when it's really not the case. This has been around way before YouTube. YouTube has just helped us. And thank you to all you guys, even to the haters who shit on Flat Earth. You're just helping spread the truth even more on the algorithm. Ms. Downs, does Google think that this is a problem? And what is the solution that you're coming up with to address it? Thank you for the question. So as you noted, uh, when Alex Jones posted the video you described saying that the survivors of the Parkland massacre were crisis actors, that violated our harassment policy. We have a specific policy that says if you say a well-documented violent attack Understand. didn't happen and you use the name or image of, of survivors or victims of that attack, that is a, a malicious attack and it violates our policy. In terms of conspiracy theory content generally, our goal is to promote authoritative content to our users. So we have two principles that guide the way here. That's the first one, is we want to provide users with authoritative, trustworthy Ms. information. Downs, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I only have a minute and a half. And I, I, I don't really need to hear what you're trying to provide. I want to know how you're dealing with all these conspiracy theorists on your platform. 
So the, the first way is by demoting low quality content and promoting more authoritative content. And the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of- Your response uh, is to put a box saying, nope, the earth is not flat. Correct. Okay.